Hi, this is Mrs. Winstead, and these are two different sections of freshman physics notes. The first part is having to do with lab reports, and the second has to do with statistical analysis. So in our lab reports, because labs are a major component of class, um, we have some expectations for what needs to be included in every lab report. So I will be checking lab reports for each lab, sometimes the same day, and sometimes at the end of the week. So the following things will need to be included in each of your lab reports. You'll need an experimental question, so a question that we are going to answer through the course of the experiment. A hypothesis, you'll need your variables, your independent, dependent, and two control variables. You will need a three-step procedure, which we will go over next week with our lab on the block day. You'll need a data table with proper titles and labels, including units. You'll need a graph, again, with a title and labels, including units. And you'll need a conclusion with a hypothesis, some support for hy a hypothesis, and a discussion of error analysis, which will be part of our discussion next week. So these are all required on every lab report that you turn in in class. So for the second portion of this video, we're going to take a look at statistics and statistical analysis when you're looking at data. So there are three kind of big methods that we'll take a look at for this course, um, and they are the mean, which is the sum of your trials over the number of your trials. So this gives you an example here to find the mean of these numbers. You would add them up and get 18.18 divided by 6 would give you 3.03. .03. This is the one that we probably use the most often in class. Um, we take the mean of data sets all of the time, so this one is pretty common. Two other potential options for statistical analysis that may be used in class include the median, which means finding the middle number of the data set. So if you had this data set here, the first thing you need to do is put those numbers in order. And then if you have two numbers in the middle, you would need to take the mean of your middle two numbers. So in this case, seven and eight are both in the middle of the data set if you actually went through and kind of crossed these off. So the two on the end, the next two, the next two. Actually, this one gives you just seven, so that one's easy. Uh, in this case, though, if you cross those off, you get down to seven and eight so you would need to add those up and get 7.5 so in this case up above the median is seven for this one it's 7.5 so it depends on the number of numbers you have in your data set the last one that we really look at in this class is the mode the mode is the most commonly occurring number among the data set so for example if you had these numbers the mode is one that's the one that occurs most often if you have two modes, you can have bimodal data or three modes. You can have a trimodal data set. Sometimes the data just doesn't have a mode. There's not a number that repeats itself multiple times. So those are your statistical analysis kinds of ideas there. We may go over standard deviations and a few other things in this class that we won't get into um, detailed statistical tests or analyses. And this gives you an opportunity to practice. So um, if you were just in class today, we did not get to this assignment yet, but it'll be coming tomorrow. So a chance to practice finding the mean, median, and mode for these data sets. So there they are if you want to get a head start and you're watching this video. Have a good day.